Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Pensu. My name is Nisa and today we're gonna take a look at the giant panda which is one of my favorite animals. I know I have a lot of favorite animals but it's just like yeah, you know, some animals, every time you see them, you just fall instantaneously in love with them and the Jan Panda is one of them for me. I will just like to remind you that the Jan Panda also have a very important job as the ambassador or at least the logo for the World Wildlife Foundation. Uh, as you know, it is a foundation that I support a lot. I really love the work they do. And I will uh, leave a link for them below so you can go and support only if you want to. No pressure here. I just like to give you the opportunity. And if you find your local, <laughs> your WWF affiliate uh, or what they call it. Uh, here in Denmark we have one for instance and there I can get a lot of merch uh, as you know I have bought some before and I love it a lot so if you want to get some merch don't want to just donate then you can do that in your local area but if you just want to donate some money you can do that uh, at the link I listed below I won't talk too much about it today. I know my last Jan Panda habitat, I talked a lot about it. Uh, I assume at this point you heard about them before. or And if you haven't, then please go and educate yourself and read about it because it is one of the best uh, animals support, help the animals foundations out there uh, that I know. Of course, it is an opportunity that I just don't know the ones you know. Uh, and overall, as long as you want to help the animals, there's a million ways to do that. And it's not like I have the only right way here. I also know some zoos actually do also have areas dedicated to WWF or other uh, world <laughs> where wide foundations that help animals. Where you of course also can go and support if that's what you want. Again, it's your money. I don't decide what to do with it. It's totally your choice. I just like to mention the opportunities. Anyway, back to me and my little channel here in my little corner of YouTube, which I love so much. Uh, remember that this Saturday is when we do our live stream here in Future Life Asia. Uh, I should have put it up now so you can go and see and ring the bell for that video if you want a reminder when it goes live. Uh, if you want to come in live and follow when we go around and just take a final look at the habitats and the animals around this future life project. It will be 2 p.m. Uh, Danish time but I am aware that this time isn't the same for the entire world so therefore of course the video will be up afterwards so you can go in and see it if you are unable to see it live or you just want to wait uh, to a better time for you of course um, but I just want to do it as a live stream because it's just these relaxed videos where we go around and just look at the habitats. I really enjoyed making it for Luca Family Zoo. And I actually didn't edit that video at all. So I thought just as well do it as a live stream this time. Anyway, today's focus is the giant panda. And it is this beautiful bear that lives in China. It lives in the for forest, the mountains or the forest mountains in the temperate climate zones. Um, and they are most famous for being these, um, what's it called, bamboo eating uh, creatures. And that isn't quite wrong uh, since 99% of their food will be bamboo. Uh, they do however also eat uh, meat such as fish uh, or eggs uh, when it is available. I thought this was kind of one of the things I don't think many people think about pandas because they seem so peaceful and herbivores and all of these but they are still bears so they do still eat some kinds of meat. 
One of the things bears overall are most famous for are probably their hibernation. But the pandas do actually don't hibernate and this is because they don't build a permanent den. They will spend the uh, night either in a, a rocky uh, hollow crevices or something like that or up in the trees in hollows. But they won't be there permanently and therefore they wouldn't be able to move so much around if they uh, slip through the entire winter. They need to move so much around because again they mainly eat bamboo and they eat between 9 and 14 kilos of it each day. This would be between 20 and 30 pounds. So therefore they would eat all of the bamboo in a certain area if they didn't move on once in a while. Pandas are very clumsy looking and I know there's millions of video on TikTok, on Instagram, on YouTube and so on of pandas just falling down from stuff and landing on stuff and rolling down hills and so on because they are kind of clumsy in a very very cute way. This however doesn't mean that they aren't agile at all. They can both climb again, they actually sleep up in the tree so of course they can climb up there but they can also swim which isn't a thing I actually ever seen a panda do but I would like to someday. Most of the mating system for giant pandas are very um, basic. They primarily mate uh, through March to May and they are pregnant for about 5 months. After this the female will give birth to one or two cubs. This is not that weird but what is very weird is that the baby will only weigh between 19 and 130 grams. Not kilos, grams. Um, and uh, just to put it into perspective, it's one eight hundredth of the weight of the mother. So she has to be very, very careful with them. In addition to this, they are both born blind and toothless, so pretty much she will have to take very good care of them to give them a chance in the dangerous world around them. Luckily, they grow very fast and already after a year and a half, they will be able to take care of themselves. The giant panda have quite a few problems, but the thing is most of them is because of wars. Basically they have been hunted as many other beautiful animals for years since their coat are so different and very beautiful and very warm. They also lose their homes before, be, sorry, because of deforestation and land clearances and Furthermore, the bamboo are suffering overall because of the climate change and if we aren't careful the bamboo will disappear over time. And again it's 99% of the pandas uh, food source so therefore no food, no pandas. At this point we only have about a thousand and eight hundred individuals left in the wild but the good thing is that we have 300 of them uh, alive in breeding centers around uh, the world and uh, mostly in zoos in China but also in other places of course. Therefore the IUCN red list have them listed as vulnerable but the numbers is luckily increasing at this point, so we just need to keep up the good work.
Okay guys, that's all I got for you today. Um, I don't think I remember saying all my information about the giant panda came from animalia.bio. Link is in the description along with a link to wwf.org or uh, World Wildlife Sorry, the World Wildlife Foundation or I'm not sure it's the exact link, but link is in the description if you want to go and support a lot of beautiful animals. As I probably said at some times, maybe not today. Uh, they don't only help giant pandas, they help multiple beautiful creatures around the entire world. So again, if you want to support, they would really appreciate it. Um, it's not an affiliate link or anything like that. I just like to put out link for different foundations that help beautiful creatures. And every time we talk about the giant panda, I need to mention WWF. So, anyway guys, this Saturday, uh, I already uh, put up the live stream so you can go and see there. Which time it is in your country, as uh, I mentioned before. It's 14 or... 2 p.m. in Denmark, probably not where you live, so you can go in there and see which time it is, but as I also mentioned, it will be up afterwards if you don't have time to see it or you just don't want to see it at that time. Anyway guys, you know the drill, like, subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again, other in the comments below or in the next video. Bye guys!